Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rodney here today, back with another video today. We're doing a tier list. It's 4th of July today. Hope y'all are celebrating the independence of America. If you're not for America, just hope you're having a great Sunday. We are going to be doing a cookout foods tier list. Excited to get into this. Uh, make sure you hit that like button uh, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And um, yeah, let's get into this. Well, it looks like we're going to start with apple pie. And... We've got uh, S, A, B, C, D, and F. Apple pie. Apple pie is a good, it's a good food, guys. Apple pie is going to be an A tier for me. Because, think about it. A perfect apple pie. It's got a buttery, flaky crust. After it's just come out of the oven, you put some ice cream or some Cool Whip on it. And it's, it's a really solid dessert. And I like it. Next up, we have baked beans. Now, if these are baked beans out of a can... They're going down to like a, a, a C or a D, but it looks like these are done homemade, maybe on a smoker. And if you don't know me, I love smoking. Sm oh, well, that sounds bad. <laughs> I love it when people smoke foods, uh, do creative things on their smoker. Shout out Jeff Harding. You the real one. Baked beans on the smoker, get they get a B because I can't put it on the same tier as a hot apple pie but they're still solid it's a solid food I'm, uh, there is a solid food i'm telling you that baked beans are a great side dish for any sort of cookout grill out type thing next up we have brats it's a tough one for me see guys i work at a golf course and right before closing when we're getting ready to throw out all the brats that have been on the roller all day they are just really 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 good but are they are they an S? Here's the problem with this. I'm going to like almost all of this shit. I've got to go with an A on this. It's got to be an A. I'm sorry. It's just not. Brats aren't an S when there's. I'm looking at the rest of his tier list and I'm seeing some really good items. Because items like brisket get to be S tier. Alright. Perfectly done brisket on the smoker. You can't tell me that that isn't going to make your mouth water. The stuff that's so good, it's got such a good rub on it, it's so moist in the center, it doesn't even need barbecue sauce. Add this with some baked beans, you got your bite of beans and you get a bite of brisket. Oh, that just sounds so yummy to me. So yummy to me. And that's why we're going to be doing that at the S. Next up is hamburgers. Don't at me. Don't fucking at me, dude. Burgers are just so boring I mean burgers are a classic they're a staple they're gonna go up to a seat but burgers are a staple they're a classic but compared to some you can have so much better food than burgers the, at a cookout burgers are just your typical you know hey we don't have a smoker we just have a grill we're just gonna fire up the grill and throw some some frozen patties and call it a 4th of July cookout. I'm not digging it. Oh boy. So it looks like these are chicken wings maybe. It looks like these are drummies. And these might be flats. I think these might be flats and these are drums. But these are like barbecue. These are more barbecue because those have ranch with them. Or blue cheese. These are solid. I gotta go A tier with the drumsticks. You get them going on the smoker or in the crock pot all day. Stewing in those juices in the crock pot. Just a little bit of barbecue on them and the meat falls off the bone. Drumsticks are solid. And I'm definitely more of a drumstick guy than a flats guy. Drumsticks are solid though. And next up we have coleslaw. And here's the thing. It's not because coleslaw is bad. It's not because I don't eat coleslaw. I eat coleslaw whenever it's available. But there's just not really much you can do that is going to be like, Wow. Like, that's a great coleslaw. Like, I'm never really excited to go anywhere and I'm like, oh my god, there's coleslaw here. You know, it's just not something that I'm going to do. It's coleslaw. It's lettuce, red cabbage, and carrots. It's cut really, like, funnily. There's nothing you can do to that to make it where I'm like, wow, there is coleslaw here. Wow. Holy smokes. Collard greens, I believe, is what these are. So I know it's a thing in the South. As a South Carolina resident, I I can relate 
I understand the traditions. I understand a lot of things, especially collard greens and some other types of food from down there have a lot of traditions going back a long time, but they just suck. I'm sorry. Plain and simple suck. Now, I'm not going to say it doesn't belong. I'm going to say F. I'm going to go back to calling that F. Corn on the cob. It's just corn. Like, you can't tell me that if we're just putting out corn on the cob, like, I'm going to go and I'm going to really bite into that. And I don't do the street corn thing either where they put the weird shit on the corn. It just doesn't really interest me. It's just corn. Like, there's so many things I'd rather eat than corn on the cob. It's just, I'm sorry. It's just true. Corn on the cob is boring. Depends because there's some really, really good cornbread out there. Man. This is going to be a hot take, but I got to put cornbread in S tier. I love cornbread. I get excited when I see cornbread at a, on a table, in the buffet line, at the potluck. When there's cornbread, I get excited. Cornbread is just, man, it just hits the spot. Whether, regardless of what you're eating, it serves many purposes. You're eating chili. You're eating barbecue. You're eating burgers. You're eating steak. Cornbread on the side is always going to slap. Cornbread's going to be there. So that's why it's an S tier food. It's just so good. And next up, we got flats. Flats are going to go with burgers. They're just, all right, I'd rather have drummies. Fine, they're so good. Next up, it looks like we have jello salad here, which is like fruit and shit. Eh, it's all right. It's like a dessert. I don't really understand why we're putting this out with all like the salads and stuff though. Like, weird that we're putting this out with all the salads. I mean, yes, there's fruit, but it's literally covered in Cool Whip and like Jello and stuff. We have hot dogs, and hot dogs are really solid. I can't lie to you when I say I really enjoy hot dogs. But they have to go a tier list. They have to go a tier below brats, and that's just the way it is. Hot dogs. If you think about what they're made of, it's disgusting. But I don't. Hot dogs are still a really solid food, and they're really yummy to enjoy. But there's just things that I'd rather eat at a cookout. If there's barbecue available, if there's wings available, ribs, steak, I'd rather be doing that. And next up, we have a, it looks like shrimp skewers, little kebab type things. They go with hot dogs. Eh, kebabs are good. I'm not going to take anything away from shrimp kebabs. They're fire. But are they really going to be up above... We, uh, drumsticks, apple pie, brats, they just can't be on the same tier list. And that's why they're a B. It's nothing against them. Anything C or above, even the D, I'm eating that, I'm eating that, I'm eating everything on this list that isn't an F. It's just basically my level of excitement when I, when I go to a cookout, when I, when we're cooking out at our house and I see these items are on the menu. That's what makes me excited. And next up, this looks like mac and cheese. Tell you what, my Uncle Randy makes an amazing crock pot full of mac and cheese that we used to have at Thanksgiving and at Easter and at Mother's Day when we had a big potluck at my grandma's house. That was some of the best mac and cheese ever. It had these big noodles in it, just stewed in this cheese sauce all day. Man, that was phenomenal. I know um, that one of my uh, cousin's husbands would eat like almost a whole crock pot full. We had to make a double batch because he'd come and he'd eat a crock pot by himself. Shit is fire. Mac and cheese belongs on this list. It's just so savory. It's just got such a good flavor. And next up we have pasta salad. And this is going to be a hot take. Don't at me. Pasta salad is elite, man. A good pasta salad with that Italian like style dressing on it. Italian in that ranch. And it's just that cold, but it's that cooked pasta. And they have, you have to have the multicolored like noodles in there. That shit is fire. I'm eating that all day. Give me that all day. I'm going back for seconds on pasta salad. Peach cobbler. Doesn't belong. Peaches are awful. Get me the hell out of pound with peach cobbler. Just shite. Absolute shite. It's tragic that it even exists. Next up, it looks like we have chicken breasts, like grilled chicken. So let's say this is like a good, like a chicken that's been marinating. It's got like some barbecue or some teriyaki sauce on it. It's been marinating and you throw it on the grill. That's going to be an A tier, right? It's grilled chicken, man. Grilled chicken's good stuff. 
Grilled chicken's awesome. Potato chips, they're just going down here simply because there's just a lot of better options that I'm going to go for on side dishes especially. I'm taking baked beans. I'm taking mac and cheese, macaroni salad, maybe even some uh, some some jello salad and uh, so even some coleslaw over potato. I mean, I'll have a couple chips, but the chips are good. But they just, on, a, on this tier list, when there's these items on this tier list, they're a D. And that's just the way it is. There's a gap between D and F, and I think that's appropriate to put that there. I think it's potato salad. Potato salad is, uh, potato salad's B tier. Potato salad's good. Now, if we're talking the, the mayonnaise-based potato salad with the little pieces of white potatoes and maybe some, like, celery or onions in there, it's a B tier. But if we're talking, like, red potatoes and, like, ranch and bacon in there, then it's an S tier, right? But this one doesn't look like that one, so I'm going to put it in the B tier. But if it's the other one, you know where I'm putting it. And then that way we have pulled pork. I might have to make an S plus for pulled pork. I had to make an S plus for pulled pork. Pulled pork is phenomenal. I I could eat this all day. I'll eat pulled pork 24 fucking 7. This shit is fire. Holy crap. Bar ribs. I'm not a huge ribs guy. They're really good when done right. And that's why they're A tier. I know they're actually got to be B tier. They've got to be B tier. Ribs are good, but it's just a lot of work and they're really messy. And that's why I'm much rather, I'd rather eat a drumstick if I'm getting messy. I'd rather eat brisket or pulled pork if I had my choice at barbecue place. And that's why it's not that ribs are bad. I love ribs. But on a tier list like this, I'm going to be eating grilled chicken. I'm going to be eating drumsticks. I'm going to be eating brats. I'm going to be eating brisket and pulled pork over um, a, a rib. Even if it's done right, fall off the bone. Rolls. Rolls are awesome. I love rolls. I'm going to have to put it in a, I'm gonna have to put it in an A tier. Rolls are really solid. You get that, especially you get that like Texas Roadhouse, like cinnamon sugar butter on them. Oh, that's good. But even just regular butter or like apple butter or jam on a rolls are so good at a barbecue. Or at a, with a steak. With a roast, with anything, good yeast rolls are just, they, you can't beat good yeast rolls. You can't beat them. This looks, I don't really know what this is. I'm going to call it steak. So, a grilled steak is going to be an S tier if it's med rare. A medium rare steak is an S tier. Medium rare steak is so good. Regardless of the cut, maybe not round steak or minute steak, but like a ribeye, a sirloin, a porterhouse, a T-bone, any of those things, filet mignon, any of those things, medium rare, is you really have a difficult time beating that. It, it, a good steak, done right, is good. And that leaves us with the odd man out, which is a sweet potato casserole, which will f complete our F tier. Because, holy fuck, sweet potato casserole is ass. Too much sweetness. Sweet potatoes suck in general. When you had like the little marshmallows, nah. I don't do sweet potato casserole. If you do sweet potato casserole, I respect it. I do. It's a lot better than doing collard greens or peach cobbler. It's def it's definitely the best item in the F tier list. I'll give you that, but I'm not eating it. Won't catch me eating it. Guys, this is my tier list. Let me know if you agree, if you disagree, your thoughts. Leave them below. Thanks so much for watching this uh, little different video. I'm going to do something different, switch it up for 4th of July. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, hit the like button. We got a banger episode of Puck coming for you tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoy that, and I will talk to you guys all later. Ciao. Fuck you, big boy with that big broom. Big boy, how I come through. Big boy with that brand new, because I'm killing it. Going baloney, my rollie so holy. Trophy, I go, we go stone in my bowling.